Good morning, everyone. It is that time once again. It's time for morning prayer devotion on this Friday morning. It's hard to believe that when we come back on Monday, we'll already be in the fifth month of the year as April is rapidly winding down. And it has been a great month. Uh, in the month of April, I have baptized 11, um, and we were experiencing great revival uh, at the Mingo Residential Care Facility. Uh, yesterday, after our Bible study, I uh, was blessed to baptize two more souls in the precious name of Jesus. And then, uh, as uh, some were commenting on uh, the social media post afterwards, uh, showing the baptisms, um, my friend in Ohio, Carol Dixon, reported to me that their church ministry team will be baptizing 20 inmates at the Regional Correction Center uh, there today. So we're praising God for that. And also some of their young adults at the local college are having a rally. And she's asking us to uh, cover both of these outreach teams with prayer today. In our prayer request this morning, uh, Shelby Rogers is not feeling well this morning, and she's asking for our prayers. Cynthia and Lloyd Page have been dealing with a lot of health issues uh, with diabetes and uh, recent uh, dog bite wounds, both of them. Lloyd is now having double vision from his stress, and uh, just a few moments ago, uh, Johnny was telling me that uh, Cynthia... Um, has been experiencing, or Cindy has been experiencing a lot of falls, and um, the MRI has revealed she has five compressed discs in her lower back, several with spurs on them, and so the doctor has ordered no bending, no reaching. Um, she really needs a touch of the Lord this morning. So let's keep praying for uh, Cindy and Lloyd today and believing for a healing touch for them. Uh, others who are suffering with diabetes include Charles Davis, Evie, Johnny Nelson's daughter-in-law Rebecca and her mother, J.R. Johnson, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Terry Adams' friend Marcia, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Pulliam, uh, myself, Christian Carr, and Titus Dornbach, and Jimmy Warren. Uh, Jimmy Warren also has heart issues. He's needing a heart valve replacement. Mike Sappington is in cardiac rehab. Brenda Storm's friend Melvin needs healing of his heart. Kenny Prenzel and Cheryl Lachance, both with heart issues. Pastor Mickey Lewis and Sister Patty Arnold, both needing uh, miraculous intervention for healing of their hearts. Uh, Gene Bowsley had a heart surgery scheduled this week. Uh, maybe Kristen can update us this morning as to whether or not that happened this week or not. And we're praying for his salvation and against fear and anxiety on his behalf. Those who are battling cancer, Hugh's wife was recently diagnosed with thyroid cancer. We're also praying for Del Bishop, Christy Smith, a lady in the Puxico community with stage four metastatic breast cancer, Kathy Burks, Philip Randall, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparents, Ari Bowers, Claire, Lisa Workman, Terry Adams' friend, Kathy Bloss, Chuck Lurie, Edie Percival, Michelle Strain's sister, Cindy, uh, Tony Nelson, Tanya Schutz, Domain Lewis, Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Kathy Williamson, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Kay, Scott Lucia, Stephanie Thompson, Lydia, Michael Boland, Monica Harmon, and Linda Fox. We have four children on our list here battling cancer. Tucker, Jenna, Lorelei, and Myra. Let's keep praying for them. Also praying for some other children with rare disorders and debilitating diseases. Abram Page has GNA01 disorder. There's only about 200 people um, actively diagnosed with that disease. And so it's very, very rare. Abel Ray has PKU syndrome, uh, an issue that prevents him from taking protein into his diet. Tana Lopez needs healing with spina bifida. Brantley and baby Elsie both recovering from recent heart surgeries. We have some with lung issues today, Phyllis Robinette, LaVon, Michael and Grover Strasner, Kendra Ortiz, and Robbie Northrup. Michael Parrott has a nodule in his left lower lung and is scheduled to see a specialist next week on May the 5th. Marsha Moore, Beth Wheatley, and Melana Cummins need healing of migraine headaches. 
Bob Perkins and Leslie Sutton need healing with shingles. Jim Connor is needing a kidney transplant. Brother Pulliam's brother needs healing of his kidneys, healing of his liver, healing of his pancreas. Marty DeLott, Riley Marks, and Sarah Stroop suffer with MS. Those who need healing of Parkinson's disease include Tim Workman, Russ, my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, and my dad, Ron Bryant. Those with stomach issues, Olivia, Terry Adams, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Aubrey, Heather Spence, and Michael Parrott. June Coffer needs healing of arthritis. Renee needs healing of her hips and knees as this uh, problem has been causing her uh, mobility issues for quite some time. We have many with back pain this morning and back issues. Melana Cummins, Britt Moore, Terry Adams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Charles Davis, Pam Pulliam's daughter Jenny, Tammy Lawson, Bob O, Terry Nelson, uh, Pastor Mark Wilbanks needs healing of ALS, J.R. Johnson needs healing of his blood pressure, Nathan Van Ingman has an upcoming surgery in the month of June. Sue Helton Morris's brother has had a severe head injury and is having ongoing issues from that. Shirley Perkins has kidney issues and other medical problems dealing with blood clot issues. She has a bone density test that's been rescheduled now for May the 11th. And in our other health needs today, let's keep praying for Chloe Isaac, Cheryl's family member, Mike and Tony Hodge, Devin Huff, Meredith, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Regina Bishop, Ron and Carleen Hendrickson, Jamie Joe Day, Lane Reasons, Will DeMorrison, Rose Brown, Judy Williams' daughter Jennifer, and Judy's sister Mary, Shirley Garner, Carmen's sister Tracy, Charles Davis's dad, and Tom Shannon. Ron Asher needs strength and encouragement. He's in a nursing home. J.B. Goforth is on hospice care. And we're praying for continued recovery today for Ashley Johnson as she continues her long road of recovery from a gunshot wound to the head. Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Savington all need prayers for continued stroke recovery. Jennifer is recovering from a heart procedure. Brother Steve Cummins is recovering from an emergency surgery. We're thankful that he's back home. He's doing very well and looking forward to being in church services this Sunday. And we're looking forward to hearing him share his testimony of what God has done for him. There's a four-year-old child we're praying for who uh, broke his femur and had surgery to repair that. Leslie Sutton recovering from surgery on her leg. Philip Northrup had a recent foot surgery. Eric Williams had major ankle surgery and is going through six months of rehab for that. Megan Rackley still recovering from injuries sustained in the Crothersville tornado. In our spiritual and family needs today, let's pray for our Mingo RCF residents. The ongoing revival there, uh, 18 have been baptized out of that facility, and we're so thankful for what the Lord's doing. Mingo Job Corps uh, students and alumni um, need our continued prayers. Regina Marlin's family, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Carrie Jones and her family, Karen Sampson and family, Caroline Sexton's family, Alan Dawson needing deliverance from drug addiction and mental issues, William Davies has alcohol addiction and health issues, Pam Davies needs strength to take care of her husband William, she needs spiritual strength, we need to pray for all those who are struggling with addictions, um, Marcia and Brittany continue prayers for their family, Cheryl's family member, Josiah, Annette and Dave, Pearl, Baby G, Art Chandler, the Rush family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Judy and Mike's family, the Sappingtons, Pam Pulliam's children, Terry Adams' children, all needing our prayers, J.R. Johnson and Beulah's family, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families, Maury needing employment and prayer for his children, brother and sister Pulliam's granddaughters, Morgan and Haley, Barbara Owens, Dee Dee Sealer's biological father and his family, Charles Gossett, Johnny Nelson's family, Alicia, Grace's best friend's family, and Grace's circle of friends. We're praying also for Carmen and Grace, who need special prayer for continued emotional healing. Andrea Perkins requests prayer for her family. God is working in her family uh, in the interim as they're preparing to move to Texas. 
Um, her mother is planning on being baptized this Sunday at our church service. And last weekend, they had a car accident while they were attempting to um, prepare some things for their move to Texas. And this has complicated the process. So let's pray for her family, pray for the missions team to Africa, believing for openings for hungry hearts, for staff and children, for many to receive healing, deliverance, and salvation. We're praying for Kristen's Uncle Monty as he needs prayer for both physical and spiritual needs. Rose Brown's family, specifically her granddaughter and her husband and kids in need of a miracle. We're praying for Ukraine today and for our North American missionaries, the Mitchell family in Bloomfield, Missouri, needing a new place to worship. Our preaching point in Gatewood, Missouri, led by the March family. Ryan and Tina Gustafson, pastoring the startup work in Anderson, Missouri. The DeLott family in Kabul, Missouri, needing to find a cheaper place to rent for services and needing prayer covering for uh, the upcoming outreach service uh, that I will be um, participating in on May the 14th and a team from our church helping out there as well. Wow, so much to pray about today and I'm thankful that you're here to pray with me and I welcome each of you this morning. Um, looking over the names here, good to have Terry and Johnny Nelson with us today. And uh, we are continuing to hold up uh, those needs that Johnny's mentioning in our prayers today. Marcia, good to see you. Pam and Judy, Carmen, uh, Cheryl, good morning to you. Uh, Kristen, God bless you this morning. Wow, what a great team. Sherman's with us today. And uh, we have a strong prayer team each and every day. And today, of course, is no exception. Let's look to the word of the Lord, Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, reading verses 11 through 22. I'm reading from the New King James Version this morning. Now, as he was going out on the road, one came running up before him and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack. Go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. But he was sad at this word and went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. When we are born again, as I've emphasized many times, God places a calling on our lives. We have been called and we have been commissioned with a divine purpose. But fulfilling that purpose may involve some sacrifices that we were not initially expecting to make. There are certain weights that Hebrews 12 and 1 tells us we must lay aside so that we can complete the race to which we are called. Most of us don't have that much trouble renouncing sin, but to lay aside weights and distractions sometimes is more difficult. In this passage of scripture in Mark 10, 21, Jesus asked the rich young ruler to sell all he had to take up his cross and follow him. But this young man walked away that day full of sorrow because he couldn't bear to part with his possessions and the comfort and security he felt they provided. And I really believe that was the issue. Uh, we can look at this and say, oh, this man was greedy and he was just too concerned about uh, having extra money in his bank account and being more wealthy than the next person. I don't think that was it. I think that his possessions and all that he had worked to attain, uh, no doubt, was a, a measure of comfort and security for him that he was not sure that he could live without. And uh, because his hearing when Jesus spoke to him was not mixed with faith in the one speaking, then he was not able to receive that word. Truly listening means stepping out and trusting God in ways that we've never trusted him before. We talked about that a little bit, I believe, yesterday morning. But if we listen to the voice of the Lord, we will arrive at the right destination. 
whatever God tells us to give up, whatever distraction that is there, whatever is preventing our complete reliance and trust upon him uh, needs to be laid aside in our pursuit of God's will for our lives. Yes, we may have to unload some unnecessary baggage along the way, but rest assured, if the Lord tells us to give it up, it is unnecessary baggage. It is something that is simply weighing us down in our walk with him. When we see God's plan fully unfold, we will be glad that we listen. So I encourage you today, lay aside whatever weight that it is, whatever thing is uh, hindering you from truly trusting in the Lord. You know, all these things, all the things of this world one day are going to melt with fervent heat. And only the things that we've done for the Lord are going to last anyway. And so I'm thankful today that I've learned both how to abound and how to be abased. It's a learned behavior. We have to learn that uh, that godliness with contentment is great gain. And I pray today that as we lift up these needs, we will see once again the things that are truly important. Amen. People's salvation is on the line today. People's well-being is on the line today. And here we are to stand in the gap this morning. What a privilege and what a responsibility to take these needs to the Lord today. Would you lift these needs up with me? Let's just take a moment and thank the Lord that we can trust in him and that we can call upon his name. Lord, I love you this morning. I'm so thankful that I know you. I'm thankful for every life lesson that I've learned as I've walked with you. I'm thankful, God, for the things that uh, that have been laid down for the sake of the gospel and the lessons that I've learned from those situations. I've learned to trust you more. And I pray today for each of us in this group that whatever new hindrances and whatever uh, snares that are in our path, God, that we would be able to perceive those things uh, through the direction of your spirit and we would be able to lay aside any hindrance, uh, any hindrance to our prayer, any hindrance uh, to our walk with you today. We know that this is chief and this is most important. And we pray, God, that your will would be done through our prayers this morning. We just take this time, Lord, to lift up your name, to honor your wisdom. Oh, God, to glorify you. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I worship your name. I thank you for your sweet presence. There's no substitute for your presence, oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Have your way right now, God. We believe, Lord, for healing, for miracles, uh, for signs and wonders uh, that would be reported among your people and build faith today. Lord, as a result of this prayer gathering, we believe for Shelby today to receive healing. We pray for Cynthia and Lloyd, God. You see the additional problems they're having. Lord, we pray for, Do for Lloyd today that he would receive healing from this stress and this double vision that he's experiencing. We believe for Cindy today, God, for healing of her back. We pray, God, for these with diabetes, Christian and Titus, Charles and Evie, Rebecca and her mother, J.R. and Natalie, Marcia and Tim Workman, Emily Stanley and Cheryl Chance, Brother Pulliam and Jimmy Warren. We believe for healing of heart issues for Jimmy and for Mike Sappington, for Kenny Prenzel, for Melvin, for Cheryl and Pastor Mickey Lewis, for Sister Patty Arnold, for Jean Bowsley, in the name of Jesus, we believe for complete healing right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You're Lord over every sickness and disease. Hallelujah. Those sicknesses have to go right now. They can't stay any longer. At the very mention of your name, healing virtue begins to flow. And we thank you, Lord, that right now we're touching the hem of your garment. Hallelujah. We're pressing through, God, to receive our answers. We believe for healing of cancer for Hugh's wife and Del Bishop, for Christy Smith, for our friend here in Puxico with metastatic breast cancer. We pray for Kathy Burks and Philip Randall, for Marcia's friend's grandparents and Ari Bowers, Claire, Lisa Workman, Terry's friend, Kathy Bloss, Chuck Laurie, Edie Percival, Michelle's sister Cindy and Tony Nelson. Tanya Schutz and Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero and Diane Escher, Kathy Williamson and Dennis Phelps, uh, Sylvia Laremore and Kay, Scott Lucia, Stephanie Thompson, Lydia, Michael Boland, Monica Harmon, and Linda Fox, uh, Myra and Laurelay, Jenna and Tucker, believing God today for their healing of cancer. 
Hallelujah. There's no problem too large for you today. There's nothing too hard for you, O oh Lord. You are well able, and you are able not only to meet our need, but to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think of, according to the power that works in us right now. Hallelujah. We allow your power to flow through faith in your name. We receive these answers to prayer today. We pray for Abram and for Abel today, for Tano and Brantley and Elsie, believing for healing for these children. We believe for healing of the lungs right now, for Phyllis and Levon, for Kendra and Robbie, for Michael and Grover, for Michael Parrott today. In Jesus' name, we believe for healing of migraines, healing of shingles uh, for those that are affected by that today, healing of kidney issues for Brother Pulliam's brother. We believe for Jim Connor today to receive a kidney transplant or a miracle healing. We pray, God, for healing of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreas issues for Brother Pulliam's brother in addition to his kidney problems. We pray for healing for Marty and Riley and Sarah Lord, as they've been struggling with MS for uh, quite some time, God, we know that you're able today to heal them. We lift up those with Parkinson's disease. Touch my dad my mother-in-law. Touch Russ and Tim this morning. Those with stomach issues, uh, Lord, we come on their behalf for Michael Parrott and Aubrey, for Heather Spence and Natalie, for Olivia and Terry in Jesus' name. We pray for those with limb and joint pain today for Renee with mobility issues. We speak healing to her hips and knees. We speak healing to June Coffer right now. Hallelujah for her arthritic pain. We pray for those with back issues right now. Melena and Britt, Terry Adams and Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel and Charles Davis, Pam Pulliam's daughter Jenny, Tammy Lawson and Bob O and Terry Nelson. We believe for complete healing right now. Hallelujah. We pray for Pastor Will Banks. You're able to heal ALS, uh, and we give you the glory and the praise. Uh, we pray for J.R. Johnson, believing for healing of his blood pressure issues. For Nathan Van Ingman, for his upcoming surgery. Give him peace, Lord, in the midst of this situation. We pray for Sue's brother today, Lord, that his issues from this severe head injury would be completely resolved. We pray for Sister Shirley Perkins, Lord, for healing of her kidney problems and these blood clots and other medical issues. We lift up Chloe today, God. She needs answers and she needs healing today. We pray for Cheryl's family member and Mike and Tony. We lift up Devin Huff and Meredith, Jim Johnson and Jimmy Holden, Nicole and Regina Bishop, Ron and Carlene Hendrickson and Jamie Joe, Lane Reasons and Wilda Morrison, Rose Brown, Judy's daughter Jennifer and her sister Mary. We pray for Shirley Garner, for Carmen's sister Tracy, for Charles Davis's dad and for Tom Shannon. We pray for JB today on hospice care and for Ron Asher in the nursing home today to receive strength and encouragement. Lord, these who need strength for continued recovery, we believe for them, for Ashley, for Brother Huey, for Kelly and Shannon, for Sheila, for Tina's mother, for Jennifer, for Brother Steve Cummins, and for Leslie and Philip and Eric today, for Megan, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for this four-year-old child recovering from uh, surgery to repair this broken femur. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, for taking pain today and ch exchanging it for healing. And we give you praise and glory for it in your wonderful name. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for our family and friends, all these today who need spiritual healing, emotional healing, mental healing. God, you are well able we thank you for the ongoing revival at Mingo RCF, and we pray strength for every resident today. We pray, God, that they would be in church service Sunday to receive what they need from you. We pray, God, for our Job Corps students and alumni, for Regina's family. We lift up Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin. We pray for Carrie Jones and her family, Karen Sampson and her family, Caroline's family, Alan and Dawson and William today, God. Hallelujah. We believe for deliverance from drug addiction. We believe for Pam Davies today, God, for strength to take care of her husband. Lord, strengthen her spiritually right now. We pray for Marcia and Britt's family. Lord, move in their children's lives today, in their granddaughter's life. 
We pray for Cheryl's family member. We lift up Josiah. We lift up Annette and Dave today, God, that you would continue to work in their lives. We pray for Pearl, for baby G's adoption, for Art Chandler. We lift up the Rush family for their unspoken request today. Jennifer and Brenda's family, Judy and Mike's family, we're believing for revival, God. We believe for the Sappingtons and for Pam's children, for Terry Adams' children, for Maury's finances, employment, and for his children. We pray for J.R., for Beulah's family, for Debbie's daughters and their families, and for Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughters, Morgan and Haley. Lord, it's not your will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, that all would have everlasting life. We believe for deliverance and salvation today. For Barbara Owens, uh, we pray for Dee Dee's biological father and his family. For Charles Gossett, for Johnny's family, for Alicia, for Grace's best friend's family, and for her circle of friends. Uh, we lift up Carmen and Grace this morning, believing for continued emotional healing in that situation. We pray for Andrea and her family. Lord, that you would just help them today move in their needs, God. We pray that nothing would prevent, God, their desire to uh, live for you, to get connected to the church. Uh, hallelujah. Have your way, God, in their lives. Uh, we pray for the mission team to Africa today. We believe for great revival in that nation that they're in working right now. We pray for Kristen's Uncle Monty for both his spiritual and physical needs today. For Rose Brown's granddaughter, Believe in God for her and her husband and kids, for a miracle in their situation. We pray for Ukraine today, God, that you would move in that nation. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, help the missionaries that are there, the refugees, uh, those who have lost family members during this war and have lost their possessions and lost their homes. Oh, God, comfort their hearts today. Make a way for them, we pray. We lift up our North American missionaries. We pray for the Mitchell family in Bloomfield for the Duat family in Kabul. We're believing for both of these to find adequate facilities, Lord, for the right price. We pray for our preaching point in Gatewood. We pray for the March family there and for Pastor Carr as he directs that work. We pray for Ryan and Tina Gustafson in Anderson today, God, that you would continue to grant the revival that they've been believing for in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your will be done. Let your work be done today. We pray, God, for Sister Carol Dixon and for her church family. We pray, God, that these inmates being baptized today, God, would receive your spirit. Oh, God, that they would receive what they need today. Hallelujah. That there would be a spreading and continued revival in that prison. We pray, Lord, for the college campus work that's going on today, that rally that the students are conducting. God, that there would be a great move of your spirit there that many souls would turn to you. We give you the praise and the glory for all that you're doing. We ask you, God, to help us today to trust you more. Hallelujah. As we journey with you, God, we pray that you would help us block out every distraction that would drown out your voice. Hallelujah. In times of uncertainty and doubt, help us to know your voice and to continue to follow after you. We give you the praise today in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with us. I see Melena has joined us here this morning. God bless you, Melena. So thankful for what the Lord's doing for you and Steve. And we're looking forward to great things uh, this weekend. God bless you. Uh, wherever you're having church this week, have a great service. Those of you who will be at Greater Vision, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. And then right back here Monday morning for more prayer and devotion each and every weekday at 7.30 a.m.